Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have got Eric Dickerson gameplay. Now if you guys haven't seen it already, I did already do a Barry Sanders gameplay. I uploaded that video around like 12.30 I think, like 12.30 a.m. so really really late at night this video i believe is going up at 8 a.m hopefully i don't fall asleep while editing this video i'm pretty sure it has to go up 8 a.m so i'm gonna upload this video at 8 a.m i do still have a jim brown and emmett smith gameplay to go ahead and do i believe i'm going to combine them both into one gameplay for you guys so maybe if like someone rage quits early i'll just throwing Emmett Smith. Just gonna have to see exactly what happens with that gameplay. But today we got Eric Dickerson, and I know you guys like to see what abilities they have available. So Eric Dickerson in Tier 1, very, very similar, in general, with all of his abilities, actually, to Barry Sanders. Kind of bad. There's not a lot in here that I like. I really don't care for Back to Mismatch or any of these. I like Jukebox, and I like Spin Cycle, which is exactly where we're going with him. And of course, with the third one, it's comes down to really what you like to do. Now, I tend to actually use evasive on running backs for their third tier, but he, they literally have like no good first or second. Like, they can't, he can't get bruised or anything, so you might as well go with Jukebox and then Spin Box, and then for the third one, go with something better, like Inside Zone Guru, which I tend to run a lot of Inside Zone plays. So that personally just works for me, but this is everything that he can actually get. If you guys are curious, and... For his X Factor, if you guys didn't know, when it comes to these players, they actually get like a special X Factor ability. And the, the difference is, they actually start the game with it. So, when I load into the game, Eric Dickerson is going to have Freight Train already activated, which is insane. The only difference, though, is that, besides that, you actually have to get double the reward for it. So, you have to like earn double the things for it. So, if I get knocked out of my uh, my X Factor ability, then I actually have to get six runs of 10 plus yards. So, it's a little bit of a trade off, but it might be worth it because, first off, it's a distraction. Your opponent knows, holy crap, I really have to prepare for the run. So, you can just go to the pass a lot, or in general, you run the ball and you're just a monster. But that's Eric Dickerson. And like I said, I've gotten gameplay with the other players as well. Here is Eric Dickerson's stats now. Remember, this is with chemistries on him activated Eric Dickerson. Uh, 95 speed, 95 excel, 94 agility, 96 carrying, 68 catching, 88 looseness, 92 trucking, 93 break tackle. Very, very similar to Barry. The difference is, Barry, of course, when I actually show you guys his abilities, like if he's in my lineup, he's a little bit quicker because... He does get the shaker and everything like that. And the Excel is a little bit higher. He's basically, Eric is basically Barry Sanders, slightly slower, better carrying, and 22 more truck, which to me sounds like a lot, a lot different. Uh, 93 stiff arm as well, 90 spin, 93 juke. So he still gets the spin, still gets the juke if you use the right cams. I, of course, run zone run. And I also have John Madden when it comes to the rushing one as well. Uh, we also have Jim Brown, Emma Smith. Still getting a good gameplay with them. But if you guys enjoyed the gameplays and you want to see more, make sure you drop a like on the video. And, of course, hit that sub button down below. Let's get in this weekly league game. Hopefully, we catch a W. And Eric has a great game. Looking to take your game of Madden 20 to another level? Check out Hot Route Tips and get access to ebooks, tips, and schemes from Madden Pros. Use code ZERK for 10% off. Let's dominate Weekend League. So that is my top three. Of course, we got Night Train, Eric, and Michael Irvin, and my opponent's top three. Pretty solid team. Now, since Eric, of course, starts off the game with his X Factor activated, you'd kind of expect my opponent to expect to run here. Well, doesn't matter, because I'm running the ball anyways. Eric Dickerson, very first play, juking someone out. Eric Dickerson showing off the speed, and he just broke off Pat Tillman. Now, I know he has his X-Factor activated, but I'm very curious to see. Can he break off Pat Tillman without his X-Factor? Because I think I can count on my hand how many times I've actually broken a tackle for Pat Tillman this year, and it's uh, probably even less than five. So my opponent actually did tackle me for a loss there, unfortunately, on the last place. So now we do have to get six runs of 10-plus yards to get activated again, which is uh, going to be pretty hard to do. Eric Dickerson, though, breaking off those tackles and picking up a first down. So I'm going to be honest here. Even though Barry Sanders was is faster with all the abilities and everything, 
I don't really notice that big of a difference, and I just recently played that game with Barry Sanders. I'm not noticing a, like a huge difference between the speed, uh, the juking maybe a little bit. I feel as though with the trucking that Eric Dickerson brings to you though, he might just be the best one, honestly. We're gonna go to him in the flats here. Can we get some good blocks? We do! Eric Dickerson squirming inside, and he's got the speed to take it all the way. That's what I wanted to see. So now let's see if we can stop my opponent. He actually does have Christian Okoye, I believe, with an X Factor, Saquon Barkley, and Lamar Jackson. So I can already see what type of offense he's gonna be running. I imagine he'll scramble basically instantly with Lamar Jackson. I don't really see anything open. What the heck? I've never seen someone walk out of bounds and then it still let them get like the ball off. That was a little bit weird, but thankfully like wasn't completed and Madden glitched out somehow as he's running the flats here to Saquon Barkley, hits a juke move and picks up seven. All right, third and eight. We know he likes to go to the flats, but also I'm kind of worried for like an out route and actually it's going to be a draw play and we're all over that. So my opponent did actually punt the ball. We're going to come out now in single back and I'm not sure if we're going to go to pick the big game. We're going to try this though. Hit the outside. Eric Dickerson, Earl Thomas in our way. We're going to break free ED with the speed. All right, man. I'm really liking Eric Dickerson. See, now I know for a fact that Barry Sanders would have made that same exact play there. But that's the point. If Eric Dickerson still has the speed, the illusionist, everything to get around everyone right there, plus you get all the trucking, man, it's going to be tough for me to keep Barry Sanders if Eric Dickerson is going to play like this as Saquon's breaking off a tackle there, picking the game at two. If you guys haven't seen the Barry Sanders gameplay, definitely go check it out after you're done watching this one. And... See if that helps you out, figure out which one you guys want to get. I know a lot of people have been asking me, you know, which player do you think is the best currently? I don't really know. However, I've never really been a big fan of Emmett Smith cards, and that's coming from a Cowboys fan. I've just literally never been a big fan of his cards. They never seem to do much personally for me. Maybe it's my style of offense, but they just never play too good for me. Uh, Barry Sanders cards are just insanely glitchy, and wow. Okay, you didn't catch that. Fourth and five, see if he's gonna go to here. He may just check it down to the flats, but it looks like nothing's open. Shazier, you gotta play that. Shazier has to just drift up the field a little bit and make a play on that ball. That would have been a turnover. Second and seven, though, he's already at the 50. It looks like he's running, and actually, I thought it was gonna be a run. He goes over the middle, and dang, man, good pass. Usually, Shazier can, like, get in there and get the swat or something on that type of animation, and instead, Nothing at all. He's running the ball here again with Saquon Barkley, who stumbles and picks up one. We've got to keep Lamar Jackson in the pocket. He motioned over Torrey Holt here, so I'm thinking he might actually try to throw the Torrey. I actually know it's going to be another run play, a counter play. Good play call. I really did not see that coming at all, and he picks the first down. You really don't see people running counters this year, so that's uh, definitely an interesting play call. Saquon Barkley is tired, though, so I dare you to run the ball, because if you run the ball, I'm going for the strip 10 out of 10 times. Can we get the strip animation? And he actually breaks tackle. I'm sending a blitz at him here on second and six. I feel like he might scramble out to his right side, though. We have to watch out for Christian Okoye. I don't think it's a run. He's got, he's got Zeke in the backfield here. This is definitely a pass. Watching out for the tight end here. All over that, he is going to scramble outside the pocket. I need a fumble. If he's not going to hold right bumper and he's not going to slide, there's no way that he should not fumble. As I ran commit here and we still couldn't stop him. Dang it. I even ran commit to try and stop him here as it looks like he's actually audibling. I am going to put up a QB spy. This may just be like a toss left. Is it a toss left? And no, it actually is going to be a halfback dive with Saquon and he gets in for the TD. Let's hand the ball off to Eric Dickerson. Again, of course, my opponent knows it's going to be a run and Earl Thomas actually gets him. I really didn't think Eric Dickerson would get tackled one-on-one -on -one by Earl Thomas there, but it looks like he did. I'm going to go to him in the flats here, try to spin, and that didn't work either. So it is 4th and 13. Let's see if we can find someone open here. I don't really see... Oh, actually, we have Tyreek go way down the field. Tyreek, great catch. I actually probably could have just rack caught that and scored a TD, but I do want to get the ball to Eric Dickerson here as we hit a spin move. Oh my god, he got juked that so bad. I feel like I should try to truck someone on the next play. I'm going to look for him here in the flats. I know there's someone there, but I'm still going to go to him. ED breaking the tackle, Pat Tillman. And we couldn't break Pat Tillman's tackle there. So Dickerson's actually out of the game. We are going to hand the ball off here to Saquon Barkley, who's going to pick up a first down. I guess it doesn't matter who the running back is. We can just continue to run the ball and continue to have some pretty decent success. All right, he's finally back in the game, third and four. I'm running again. Let's see if we can actually get some good blocks. We do. Eric Dickerson getting in for another touchdown. 
And my opponent actually just rage quit the game. Eric Dickerson had three touchdowns and easily over 100 total yards. Now from that game, what do you guys think? Do you think that Eric Dickerson is actually better than Barry Sanders? Or what's your guys' opinions on? Honestly, man, he, he was making plays that Barry made in that first game play as well. But at the same time, he broke off more tackles. He obviously has way more truck and maybe slightly slower. But he does get to the juking, he gets to the spin, he has spin cycle, juke, uh, juke box, for some reason I said juke cycle, and he has all the trucking plus freight train, I prefer freight train over juke box, or whatever the thing is for some reason I can't think, it's late night, you guys know what I'm talking about, the X Factor ability, that gives you, I think it's first one's free, first one's free is what I'm talking about, I prefer freight train, honestly, I think Eric Dickerson might be overall better. But boys, that was the Eric Dickerson gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like on the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. If you watched all the way to the end, comment down below goggles for Eric Dickerson. Make sure you check the Barry Sanders gameplay. Jim Brown, Emmett Smith gameplay. Gonna be coming out very shortly for you guys later today. And of course, that $1,000 pack opening as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.